like most struggling artists, you've got to have something behind you, and I think this is good with the window on the street. I'm surrounded by energy, as it were. Hey there, Princess. Hello. But that's just a small sample of the things that I do. There's uh, the Bob Marley picture and the James Dean. Um, more to get people into my catalogue. Um, I also do commission work, so they might see that and sort of say that I have an idea. The simple images are the ones that people remember, I think. I'm your, I'm your, you can see one, you can see one up here. I actually got into stenciling overseas. When I, I was in Taiwan in 2001, and skateboarding and hip-hop was taking off. And of course, with that comes the culture of, of street art. Mm. But you've also got to contend with a hardcore presence of police there who will yeah. come on down you with a ton of bricks, you know. Yeah. I've actually done a lot more on canvas and so selling stuff than I have, you know, on walls yeah. and, and around town. Oh, they've painted over them. See, this is the travesty. There was a wasp that's been oh. covered over and there's an Autobots or Decepticon sign. And that's where the problem lies, is the differentiation between street art and just, just graffiti and disfiguring people's shit for the sake of it, I think. What distinguishes it from just regular graffiti? Yeah, I mean, that's just a wasp, but it looks, I think that looks a whole lot better than somebody coming along and spray painting their name. My grandmother might say, why do they have to paint it on the wall sort of thing? But I mean, this is a bo boring brick wall, you know? A few more of these and it's a mural. There's a guy just sort of relaxing. Hey. Yeah, he's kind of like he's got cool me He has. But I ain't in the shop. I can't believe I still haven't made a fucking album of my excuses. The words are left and I don't want to mean. Oh, now this is one of my favourites. Oh, the flies. Yes. I haven't even seen they're the flies cute. before. The flies are all. This is a zoology building. Yeah. And they're flies. Mm. So there we go. I don't know if they have flies in zoos. I don't know either. But They'd I get out of the bars, I, like I reckon. <laughs> you could come along and say add a spider, and as long as it was kind of cool and fitted in, I'm sure the person that put this in their first place would would appreciate that, you know? Like a conversation. It is. It's like meet you here for a shag at five. It's just like <laughs> I was here at five. You were a no show. It's almost like a guerrilla movement, you know. And it, it is, is cool. Yeah. It's totally with cool. a sense of humour. You no, know, we can stroll. But I've always wanted to put a muku on James Cook over there. I thought oh that'd be pretty my cool. God, a big muku so on his chin, cool. sort of thing. Yeah. Yes. Do you reckon you can teach me? You've got hands, that's all you need. I mean, when I started out, I'm not, I don't consider myself to be very artsy. Like, yeah. I, I, that's why I like stencils, because you could take a photo, yeah. blow it up on a massive photocopier to an AO size, which yeah. is about the size of this coffee table, yeah. and then you can cut it out, and there you go, you spray so through the paper, and anyone can do it. It would be really cool if we did something that, I don't know, have a bit of a... A Dunedin kind mm. of thing. Mm. So of course you've got your really sort of gothicy buildings and stuff. Yeah. And lots of churches. Lamex Castle is another. another we could do a Lamex Castle. Could yeah. we have a yellow eyed penguin in it somewhere? We could have a yellow eyed penguin. The you've got church? your lack of Maori culture, but you just don't see that here because there's not much of a Maori population. A lot of old Dunedin was was built with with basically slavery. I mean, yeah. people that were brought down from the Taranaki Wars during the Maori Wars mm. that were brought down here as prisoners of war mm. and used to build a lot of the old stone walls, uh, the foundations of Lannis Castle, and there's caves dotted all around the peninsula where they were kept. And I think a lot of people don't know that about Dunedin. And they assume that, oh, the, the, the Maoris never were here. It's, well, oh. they, they were. Dunedin, Dunedin, Dunedin. What about your idea that was um, the Captain Cook with a... A moku. moku. Yeah, that'd be choice. That's, that's a cool idea. Thank you. Thank you really. Yeah. You're far too kind. Oh, What's gonna try to bring us down for? Then they're gonna have to hurt more with your fall, with a fall, with a fall down with a mole, you're sort of thought ain't gonna phase me or my claim. Big L, rest in peace. So there's a kind of like that's a full face of yeah. the The predetermined pattern was traced onto the skin, then following the lines, a tiny bone chisel was repeatedly driven deep into the flesh. God, it's so amazing. It is so intense. What we're doing is cutting James Cook out. Kids, don't try this at home unless you've asked your parents if you can borrow a scalpel. Yeah. I've got these, they go everywhere. I wake up yeah. in them on my bed, you know, they're yeah. behind my foreskin when I shower. It's Most people can do this, it's just people don't, can't be hooked. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. I, it's, just, it's like when you buy a chair, I mean, everyone could probably make a chair. But who but wants can you to imagine? make a chair? Do, I don't want to make a chair. making a chair? That is true though, I mean, obviously I couldn't make a toaster. No. I could toast well, bread you though. Could, yeah, you, you could, could toast bread. I could build a fire. It's like, I couldn't, I can't be, bothered making the stencil but like toasting bread I can spray paint the stencil. There you go.
Spray painted. Do you want me to do? Do you want me to do the bottom half and then yeah. you do the top half? Okay, yeah. That's good for holding stuff down as well. Just, make sure that, just to make sure. Sometimes this is only half full, so when you're spraying this way, eventually it's going to and just blow out a bit of air, and it'll splatter it with blocks, which you don't really want. Of these wear crews, trying hard to pretend. And what about finger technique? Just going really lightly and yeah, so be careful of that. Ah, oh, see. Oh God. And go a bit closer. Yes. And just follow that strip around. I did it. Me, 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 me. Kiss my white ass. I ain't ever gonna finish. Better hang around the pale walls. Looking at the big pictures like the girl. But you won't find me in a dump. So you'll find me, Mr. J. Shane. Just gently lift it up. Yeah. Just gently lift it up. Yeah. Just gently lift it up. Yeah. Just gently lift it up. It's still a bit sticky because of the old paint. Yeah. The old paint is quite sticky under there. Wow. Woohoo! I like it. That is so cool. I mean, you could do anything you wanted here. We could, so cool. We could go over this with glue and put glitter on his, on his all his muckle stripes. Glitter. You could put a bit of white, <laughs> white in his eyes to give him a bit of life. That is so cool. It does look pretty choice, though. I helped make that. With my abilities to hold down a rap I'm the head or recurs, haven't figured that Once upon a rap, I stumbled upon a chap Who hooked me up with two bags, we done some tracks and that was that I flow higher than any guys, I wrote who a penny diver Topo legacy driver to titty sliders and rhymers War riders and war fighters trying to make a difference Get a fix, MC Bo makes daddy shut up, listen Get a fix, MC Bo, Max Daddy Holding it down, does sound recording Using the elements, my verbal's irrelevance We do it because we have to, it's our call